Hi everyone, I am Bella and today I'm doing I'm have and today I'm having a virtual live session with uh, Dr. Malisa Ami, our consultant ophthalmologist and pediatrics ophthalmologist to talk about one of the uh, hot topics we can see so during this pandemic which is um, red eye um, and COVID-19 and COVID-19. Um, before we start, I would like to say hi doctor, how are you? Hi Bella. I'm good, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Yourself? Um, I'm fine, thank you. That's good. Okay, okay. so can we start with our um, short discussion about the topics that people are talking about during this pandemic? You know, if you read about it, if you Google about it, people are saying that um, uh, patients of COVID, they might have red eye as well. So can I know, Doctor, first of all, if a patient, if someone has red eye, does, does that mean that that patient has COVID-19 COVID virus in their body? Thank you very much for the question. Um, yes, some people are worried that if they have a red eye cur uh, at this, uh, currently in this pandemic, uh, they are worried that is it COVID-19 infection. Well, most of the cases of red eye is still the more common causes like a viral conjunctivitis or blepharitis or dry eyes. Um, in terms of COVID-19 infection, um, those who are infected with COVID-19, only a small percentage have conjunctivitis, about 1-3% to and some studies up to about 20% uh, of patients. However, most of them usually have other COVID-19 symptoms such as fever, um, cough, uh, sore throat and so forth. And these are occurring about 90, 80 to 90 percent of the patient of these patients. So, if you have a red eye at the current moment, you shouldn't panic to think that you have COVID-19. But if you have those other symptoms like a fever, cough, myalgia, which is soreness and lethargy, you know, tight, um, soreness of the muscles, then you should get seen at. Facility, a health facility that handles COVID-19 infections. Okay, Doctor, can I know like, what are the causes of red eye? Well, like I mentioned before, the most common cause is a viral conjunctivitis. Um, coronavirus is a type of virus, but the more common virus that causes conjunctivitis are viruses like adenoviruses. So, the symptoms that you can get is uh, teary eye, red eye, if you, you get foreign body sensation like grittiness and some mucus uh, that sometimes your lids, your lashes can be sticky. So those are symptoms of conjunct viral conjunctivitis. Other causes of uh, benign causes of red eye is blepharitis, but that's inflammation of the eyelid margin, uh, dry eye symptoms, um, eye, eye strain can give you some red eyes as well as um, rarer conditions like episcleritis. Those who, uh, the conditions that are more serious um, that causes inflammation inside the eye are things like uveitis and in these cases you'll get um, other symptoms such as photophobia, you're very um, sensitive to light, bright light and, you can get eye, and you'll get eye pain along with an increased vision. Another serious condition of a red eye, acute red eye is acute glaucoma and in these cases as well the eye is very painful and you can see halos around light um, and the vision can, will be hazy. Um, then the uh, other causes of red eye that should that you should seek um, medical attention is if there's any trauma to the eye or if there's an, any chemical injury to the eye. So these are serious causes that can uh, lead to serious damage to the ocular structures. Also, if you see um, if the front part of the eye, the clear window of the eye is not as clear, you have a white spot, it could be a corneal ulcer, especially if you're contact lens wearer. Um, so in those cases as well, you should be seen by an ophthalmologist on, at, uh, on the same day. So these are the symptoms that you should not wait to see an ophthalmologist right now, even though it's during pandemic or it's during a lockdown. Okay. If you are not um, sure whether, you know, should you attend the eye clinic or should you go to a centre that handles COVID infection, you can always ring the eye clinic and ask to speak to the um, eye specialist um, and to see how they can help you and whether you need to come in to get your eyes checked. Okay, okay to go back to all of the symptoms that you have mentioned just now and all of the causes, can I know what are the steps to minimize all of um, to minimize um, from getting red eye? Okay, for um, the condition like viral conjunctivitis, because it's a contagious um, condition, 
Um, and currently, actually, because of the rainy season, and the, uh, you know, usually this time of the year we get the flu. It's a flu season, so adenovirus is one of the causes of flu um, as well. So to minimize um, your risk of getting a red eye or a pink eye, is to make sure you ha um, continue good hand hygiene, wash your hands. Um, if you're outdoors, uh, if you're outside of your house, do not uh, touch your eyes, your mouth, your nose. Uh, that reduces your ability to contract any type of viruses, whether it be coronavirus or adenovirus. Um, also, also, if you know somebody who has a pink eye or a red eye, then you know make sure that you um, maintain your distance and do not have any physical contact um, because all those you know you can contract um, viruses in that way. If you do have a pink eye, you you are also uh, contagious and able to transmit that um, virus to somebody else. As, uh, for example, if you touch your eye, I mean, if you have a pink eye and you touch you know, your eye and you have tears uh, on your fingers, you touch a surface like a doorknob or a table, and somebody else comes and touches that surface and they touch their eye, they too can develop a pink eye or a viral conjunctivitis. So, washing hands is very important. If your eyes are tearing, uh, make sure you use tissues that you throw away, do not share towels, um, those kind of contact precautions. Um, so it's the same contact precautions that we advise for COVID-19, yes. um, social distancing, do not touch your eyes, your mouth, your nose, some call it stay away from men, isn't it? And yes. mouth, ear, um, eyes and, and nose. Um, and also wash hand hygiene um, and physical hygiene, yes. So by doing by doing all of these steps, you know you not just to to pre prevent yourself and minimize yourself from getting the COVID nineteen virus, also uh, prevent yourself from getting uh, infected from uh, viral conjunctivitis, right, doctor? Another thing, actually, I should add is also a red eye due to things like chemical injury. Um, so if you're doing housework um, and you're using things like a bleach solution, uh, just make sure it doesn't get splashed into the eye. Um, so all those strong corrosive material, just be careful when you handle them and put store them uh, away safely so that you know they are away from children who you know who might be in contact with those um, corrosive substances. How severe is someone with red eye that, that you know they have to immediately see um, the ophthalmologist or the eye doctor? When is the right time? There are what we call the red flags of red eye. So yes. if you have these symptoms, it's very important that you see an eye specialist or an ophthalmologist mm -hmm. um, on the same day. So number one, if there is severe eye pain, you know, causing you, um, you can't open the eyes, the eyes is so painful that the eyes are tearing, you can't open the eyes. Sometimes you can get a brow ache around that eye. Um, if it's associated with a drop in vision, uh, which is persistent, um, you know, your vision drops and it's blurred, if it's associated with trauma, something hitting the eye, um, something not not even sharp like you know like a branch hitting the eye and the eye is red, then you should get seen because sometimes you can get inflammation after a blood trauma. And if you have any chemical injury associated um, associated with it, yes, then you have to get seen on the same day. Um, other things like I said, if you see um, if you're a contact lens wearer and you see like a white spot on the clear cornea on the clear transparent window of the eye, the cornea, then yes, get it seen on the same day as well. How about someone with um, um, itchiness? They can get red eye as well, right? Yes. Um, itchiness, it can either be a type of viral conjunctivitis or it could be allergic conjunctivitis. So in allergic conjunctivitis, you get red eye with a bit of itchiness and sometimes the eyelids can become swollen. So in, in those cases, if you're not sure what it could be yes. and if the symptoms are really, really troubling, then you should... Um, you know, go and get it seen at an eye clinic. Uh, but if you're afraid to go out because of the coronavirus, like I mentioned, you can just ring the eye clinic first and, and speak to the doctor and they would advise you uh, accordingly whether you should come in or, you know, or is anything that can be done at home. So Dr, can you share with us what is your take home message for our audience out there? Okay, Bella. So again, I would just like to remind the red flags that are um, indicating that there is a serious eye condition. So the red flags are if there is severe pain um, of the eye, uh, the redness is associated with severe pain that you can't open the eye, the eyes is tearing, the eye is very sensitive to light. Uh, whenever there's bright light, you know, it's really sensitive. 
if there is a drop in vision, your vision is blurry and it's permanent. And if it's associated with any trauma, whether it's sharp injury or a blood trauma or any chemical injury, um, then you should get it seen um, urgently. Um, because some of the conditions of the red eye with, associated with this um, red flags can be potentially blinding or damaging to the uh, ocular structures. Of course, in the era of uh, COVID pandemic, we have to weigh the balance against our risk of exposure when we step out of the house, um, against uh, you know the severity of the medical condition that we have, whether it's our um, eye condition or you know our body uh, health. So. Uh, if you're unsure, you can always ring the eye clinic and ask for advice whether it can be seen um, by the eye specialist or um, something that can be treated at home. Um, but with those red flags, it's something that you should get ex ex assessed um, to avoid any uh, potential causes of blindness. I hope that answers your question, Bella. It does. It does. Thank you, Dr. Malisami, for your time. Okay, thank Joining you. Thank you today for the virtual live. Yes. Okay. Thank you for having me, and everyone stay safe. Keep safe. You too, Doctor. Okay. Take care. Okay, bye. bye. For our audience out there, to conclude what um, Dr. Amali Sami has mentioned just now, if you have any further questions, concerns, or you'd like to ask us on anything, please do not hesitate as to call. Uh, to please do not hesitate to call Sanwi Specialist Centre Damansara, and our nurses and doctors are happy to answer your questions. So uh, please stay safe, and I see you in our, my next video. Bye bye.